Hello there and welcome to this support material for seminar 2 in multi-rate signal processing and this time we will discuss about the basics of spectrograms. So we will start with the SciPy signal STFT function. This is the function that you need to use in our seminar assignment. Later on I will talk about other functions that also compute a spectrogram but for our seminar make sure that you use the STFT otherwise you will not complete the task as it is and you lose the points. SciPy signal has this function that computes the short time Fourier transform, the STFT and the STFTs can be used as a way of quantifying the change of a non-stationary signal's frequency and phase content over time. So this function will take several parameters and it will also return some arrays. So let's take a look at them. When you use a function, especially when you're using some Python libraries, it is very important that you understand the default parameters of the function you're using. Most of the times we are not setting all the parameters but if you don't pay attention, for example, what type of window we are using, all the default values, so then sometimes here is none, but then when you look, if none, then it's n per sec divided by 2. So you need to pay attention on this so you understand what you're doing. And sometimes when you need to use a different function, and then you may encounter different results because you didn't pay attention to the default parameters you used before and then in this new function maybe there's a different default parameter and if you don't set up exactly how you wanted it to be you will have different results. This function STFT takes a parameter, an array which is a time series of measurement values so for example our audio signal. It takes the sampling frequency of this time series it takes a window, so this desired window to use, and we can pass a window as a tuple or as a string. When we pass it as a string, there are some defined, predefined windows, and it defaults to a Han window. So if we don't set any different window, if we will call this STFT function just with, for example, our audio, and we don't define anything else, so it will take all these default parameters and you must understand what are these default parameters. Then it takes this n per seg and this is the length of each segment and it defaults to 256. Then it has the number of points to overlap between segments. So if it's none, which is the default, then the number of overlap is the n per sec which is here divided by 2. It takes the n FFT and this is the length of the FFT used if a zero padded FFT is desired. If none, if you don't define the n FFT then the n FFT length is equals to the length of each segment and it is default to none. Then we have also here some other parameters that you can look at the documentation so you can return a one-sided spectrum, you can specify this boundary, you can specify whether the input signal is zero padded at the end to make the signal fit exactly into an integer number of window segments, you can also define which axis where you're going to compute the STFT and this function will return three arrays. One array is the array of sample frequencies, one array is an array of segment times or block times, time blocks, and an array that is the short time Fourier transform of X and by default the last axis of this array corresponds to the segment time in our seminar you are supposed to compute the STFT with some requirements. You need to set your STFT 
to have a certain number of frequency beams. So one of these parameters is directly related to the number of frequency beams. And also, you need to set the number, the overlap, the number of points to overlap between segments to 25%.